All right, guys, I am back and we're just going to kind of keep on doing quick, simple little stuff that we just kind of think up off the cuff and um, see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, it's been a whole another week since I've touched anything on my craft table. So, yeah, here we are. Anywho, I hope your week has gone well. This week was marginally better. Um, could have been better, could have been worse. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to decide which ink I would like to use. Um, and it sounds like some of you guys would be interested in knowing what my favorite supplies are. So, um... I can certainly do a video like that. Um, um, I don't know that it's really much more interesting than anything we've already kind of discussed, but I, I'll be, I'd be down to tell you that kind of stuff. Um, do like a whole other separate video for that. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking, inking and thinking, as our Gail would say. Um, so there's a reason why I'm going in the opposite directions here. Hi, Piper. She's been such a sweetie this week. Huh. All right, so I'm just going to kind of keep going here. So this will be... So I guess I'm going to fold it so we kind of know what we're doing here. We're going to make an envelope pocket here. This will come down like so. So that's why I stamped it like directionally. Did I do that right? Yeah, nope. That's all right. So... Yeah, so just a basic little envelope here. I'm going to, which one is this one? Nope, I that one, I want this one. So yeah, um, we're slowly but surely getting the car thing with Bo figured out. Um, it's been a saga all in itself. Um, so the shop said after they looked at it on Wednesday, that it was $11,000 in repairs, um, just to get it roadworthy again. So yeah, obviously that's not great. Um, to which Bo is bummed. That was the, he, he worked really hard from the time he was 16 to 19 and saved his money and bought his very own car. Um, because fortunately, we've been able to kind of help the kids, like by, like when they start driving, having a car around that they could drive. Um, but he he didn't. I mean, they've never been like top of the line cars or anything. They've been mostly. Um, I mean, Gracie got pretty lucky because we were able to get um, the car we because we upgraded basically the extra car. Um, after she started driving and stuff. So um, after she got her license, then um, um, she was able to drive that. And then, so yeah, it, at any rate, um, but he wanted, he wanted this car. And so he saved his money and, they, um, and um, he bought it and he's made all of his payments and all that jazz. Um, so it's kind of a bummer for him. And what they found for him was still like <clears throat> um, the same car, same year, different color, less miles. And I was just like, you know, it wasn't really setting well with me. Um, not that I don't want him to have that, but it's like the more research I've done over the past few days, the more and more I'm learning that this particular car... Um, like, it's just not very good. Like, at 90,000 miles, the transmissions go. And then there's this... I read another story. It was pretty freaky. And I am, I am like, eternally grateful that it didn't happen to Bo. But, um... Apparently, there's a part that is actually bad in Bo's car. 
um, that goes bad in these cars and it's called an oil oil coolant assembly I think is what it what it is don't don't quote me on that for sure but at any rate it goes bad and then there are some people that have literally almost died because the engine light like, does this weird seizing thing and with no warning no no warning lights no indication nothing like that and um yeah pretty freaky pretty freaky stuff um so I I I'm glad that that never happened to Bo. Um, as like with most mamas, you know, we're always kind of worried about our babies, right? Um. <clears throat> okay, so basically all I'm doing now is just um, decorating the front of this because we're going to use it. So, and the cat is going to tell you hello. Um, we're going to use it as a pocket, but then it's also going to flip down and I'll show you that once we get more into this, but yeah, back to the car saga. So in any ways, he still owed some money on his car and he was getting totally hosed out of the deal, which, but at this point, like there's not really a whole lot of great options with the way the car market is all around right like there's like no used cars there's nothing really spectacular out on the market right now and while he has really good credit he doesn't have the income to just like buy something brand new like it's you know those struggles so <clears throat> who's gonna buy this other car like the one he already has again wasn't really setting well with me but it is what it is i was like why would you why would you buy another car just like that like why um, and so our sales guy called this morning and was like, you're not going to believe it, but we just got a trade in that's like in his price range, a year older, and it's a Jeep Dr Grand Cherokee and it's worth way, 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 way more than Bo's car or even this, this other one that he was going to buy, like out of this world somebody's looking out for my kid type of deal. Like it, it's, it's going to be great. Um, and so the sales guy drove it like 30 miles just to show Bo because he's at work today. I'm telling you this guy's great. Like if you guys were local, I would totally tell you where to go and, um, who to talk to. But anyways, um, yeah. So they're moving mountains for my kid, which is why we keep going back to this dealership. Um, <clears throat> as far as dealerships go, like this is like by far one of the best ones we've ever had the privilege to work with. So yeah, anywho, um, so that's been our week. We've been, um, carpooling and Gracie's been gracious with her brother about him using the car when she wasn't going to school. Yeah. I do. I have beautiful kids. I, I will say that. Like, they are, they are phenomenal humans. And the way they've, like, pulled together and worked together this week totally warms a mama's heart. Um, oh, and I'll answer this question really quick. Um, somebody asked if this, this is a die cut, um, piece. Um, and I... Um, I probably should have brought it with me. Um, I know that I got it as part of the, um, I don't think I'm going to use that on here. I was just thinking maybe it might make a nice little addition, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Okay, guys, what was I going to say? Car dealer. Oh, I have no idea. Um, That's just crazy. I can't remember now. Let's see. We've used Serenity and Bloom. 
right? Boom, there's Blossom. Let's use Wonder. Um, yeah, so anyways, this, this other car is a year older, but its resale value is like, he won't be losing so much equity in the car and he loves it like it's um it's like a second from the top uh jeep grand cherokee which is like one of those things where it literally just came in and people are like wanting it but yeah our our guy like nabbed it and put a hold on it for him so oh and then he drove 30 or 40 miles to bo's work and let him test drive it before like he committed to it Telling you, they're they're pretty good guys over there. Okay, closer to the end of the video, I will show you, or I'll put the um, no, maybe I won't put the little dots on it this time. I didn't on that other one. So, anyhow, so this will basically glue to the page. We need to do something up here, huh? And that'll be writing. Okay, what can we do here? Maybe this is where our old filigree comes in. Anyways, um, all of that said, yeah, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty fortunate about it now. Like it, like it's been a struggle all week, of course, but the kids have worked together, and it's just, it's been beautiful. I'm kind of regretting putting the wonder there. Hmm. I don't really like that. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. All that work right and you're like what are you doing um change of plans thanks for joining me today <laughs> well, it's all part of it right you gotta be flexible when you're crafting because you know if you don't like it just change it look at how my glue's being stubborn so yeah anyhow so hopefully by Monday, he'll be rolling in some new wheels and um, I can stop um, carting him around and renting cars and why does this first? Okay, it's five inches. So if I go just a little bit more and trim it down, that'll still be good for a pocket on a page. So yeah, anywho, I don't know if I remember to ask how you guys are doing. Um, I am loving this new position. It keeps me like the perfect amount of busy and I absolutely adore one of the ladies there. Um, she is like literally one of the best trainers I've ever had in my whole life. She's as sweet as she can be. Um, I just love her already. Like, Grace and I are going to go to the hockey game tonight, so that will be fun. It's been a hot minute since I've been out of the house for any capacity of fun, so again, yeah, that'll be fun, I think. Oh, see, I'm still in the old habit of laying all my cutting stuff off to the right, forgetting that I can now put it back on the wall. 
which eventually I've got to get serious about getting the rest of my studio moved out and all that jazz because graduation is coming soon, which I'm not, not excited for. I mean, I'm proud of her, but I'm really just not excited for her to graduate high school. That just doesn't seem right. Um, which I'm sure most of you that have your babies graduate know exactly what I'm saying. Um, let's, let's do something funky here. Since we got this paper here, let's just make some cute little pop-in pieces. What you say? I'm going to decorate those up. Pop in a tag. Yeah, so Gracie and I are going to go watch the hockey game. It's been a few years since I've been to a game, so I'm thinking it might be fun. Foldy pieces there. I'm not going to go crazy on the ink, but we will put something on the front here. Age it up a little bit. Incorporate more birds. I can't remember which ones we've used. It's, it's a good thing I didn't put this stuff away yet, huh? So we use those two birds. And then on this tag, we used that bird set. So let's see what else this paper has to offer us. I don't know if anything different actually is on these, but. Did we? No, we didn't use that one. We did use that one. Okay, so we're kind of back to a, but you know, maybe I'm thinking here, we could use Gracie, Grace. Oh, it's easy. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. <laughs> Never usually is, is it? I'm hearing this like snuffling noise and I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, it would probably be one of the numerous pets we have, but... that bird anywhere else so let's kind of just put this down but yeah um I'm kind of excited to go to the hockey game I said I haven't been in a couple of years and I do enjoy a good hockey game um So yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, I think we got pretty decent seats. It's FFA night, so. Yeah, let's see, let's maybe finish off the bottom. Excuse me why I think about this for a minute. Got some of this. 
because they only seem to go in that direction over there. I like the quarter inch round so much more than I like the the half inch. Oh no, but that's okay. It's all good. Um, thinking I got some different playing cards. Maybe when I find one, you probably can't hear me because I'm talking to the ground instead of up here. Um, I was thinking we might find one. I thought I might have some bird ones or something cute. Actually, I know the perfect ones, but they're not out here. Let me just double check here. Mm, we're not really doing purples, but yeah, too bright. Too bright. All right, let me check this other pile, which I think these are all Disney cards. Yeah, it's still too bright. Way too bright. Okay, let me pause the video a minute and I'll go grab those. I've been meaning to put them in my stash over here, but you know, out of sight, out of mind. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, these are the playing cards I got. They're all the same. I don't think there's any, any really different ones. Oh, they do have like, and I think I'll just leave them in. What's that one? I think I'll just leave them in because both, well, I could cover that side. What do you think? So it can still be writable, but then, yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. So let's do some handy work to this one. <clears throat> I don't know that I've actually, oh, it's not the cream paper, but it's close. It's this paper here. I don't know that I've actually ever glued card to paper. Like, like this, like a plain card to just directly paper. So we'll see how well it sticks. I think I got those at my local grocery store. I don't, like I saw them and I was like, heck yeah.
so far so good. It seems to be sticking. So art glitter glue seems to work without like scratching the surface. We'll see long term what it does, but so far it seems okay. All right. Oh, we need to ink it, of course. Of course we should do that. We want to age it just like everything else, right? All right, so there's one piece of ephemera for our little pocket here. I'm just wondering if it's too tall to sit in this one. Nope, it won't be. Oh. So we'll put it on this side and let's do something. I don't, it probably won't be the tag, but we might. What if we did just another one? Because I'm thinking a big, what am I thinking? How tall is this? It's like six, a little over six, probably like six and a quarter inches. <clears throat> And this, we decided, was like a little over five, or right at five inches, a little over five and an eighth. So realistically, we could do like four and three quarters. So let's see here. I don't have to take much off of that one at all. seven would be. That's one of the downsides to having one of these um, cutters that isn't quite like 12 inches or whatever. So you kind of have to eyeball some of the sizes. So we'll make this into a card. And where did I set that other big piece? At the other corners, maybe. Maybe kind of tear this up a little bit so it's not sitting there so straight as you please. this piece because I'm going to end up backing it with that or like taking down a piece. So. I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like this um, wallpaper stuff or whatever this tissue paper stuff is by Tim Holtz. So if you can get your fingers on it, it's, oops, <laughs> I just totally ripped off the bird's top of his head. Sorry little birdie. Yeah, well, we might could make a surgical repair there if we're filling up to the challenge.
should we put the little birdie's head, head back on? I mean, maybe. That might be nice. Yeah, what do you say? I'll go ahead and put his head back on. That way he looks complete. <laughs> Poor guy. Do you guys, any of you guys ever watched the Three Musketeer movie that came out in the 90s? Um... For life me right the second I can't think of any of the actors names um but it was basically um I can't uh, like I said I can't actually make heads or tails over over what which actors were in it now I think Keith or Keith or Sutherland was in it maybe Anyways, um, let's put the back piece on first and then, um, but anyways, um, D'Artagnan was kind of a stinker and what just ran through my head was, um, when D'Artagnan was about ready to fight the, uh, three musketeers, like he arranged like three duels in one day <laughs> and the guy that was chasing him says don't lose your head d'artagnan so we should totally name the bird d'artagnan don't lose your head d'artagnan you guys gotta know by now that i'm rarely serious about anything right <laughs> um yeah so interesting video, right? Oh, he's down for a good laugh. Anyways, yeah, I'm probably like way over my time limit that I set for myself so that I can actually get the video loaded, but you know, there is that. And when you're creating, it just doesn't always seem like there should be a time limit. But I believe you'll see this Sunday, so maybe it'll be a, a good thing for you to see it on Sunday. Plenty of weekend time, you know, that sort of thing. Anywho, I'm going to go to round my corners now. And do it at the quarter inch. And we'll figure out what to put on the top here. I'm thinking a word or something to that effect. Um, or we could put like lace up at the top. Something like a cluster. And I have cluster like already made clusters somewhere. I don't really want to pause the video again on you guys. Sorry, I'm just looking around to see if they're within grabbing length or reach length. Um, and they are not. Hmm. Where, oh where, oh where did I put them? Hmm. They're not in my little bag here. It's a bin. They're in a bin just like this somewhere. Hmm. Well, we did use some other lacy bits, so I'm going to say we just try to make something real quick. There's a full fledged doily. There's some lace there. Colors are we kind of going with? So we've got some reds. I already had some fancy stuff on that last one, this one here. So, nope, 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 nope. Oh, this is kind of fun, maybe. This is one from a project a few months ago. Let's Seems like I got glue on it, so. Whoops, I'm 
Here's my deck of cards. It's gonna be a 50 card pickup here in a minute. Let's see, we used Wonder. Uh, we could use Happiness. Let's use Happiness. That seems like a good one. This, so we're going to need something else there too. About some peach, pulling peach, kind of like a cluster like this. Do we like that? It's a whole big place to kind of try to fill. And does it look like I'm just trying to fill in a hole? Well, I kind of like that because it pulls in the colors there, but it uh, the lace needs to go up a little bit more. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so Fabri-Tac. I have my Sugar Bell bottles that I that Dawn sent me, and I need to get my button gear and do it, but. Let me tell you, if you saw my house right now, you'd be like, mm, house cleaning's probably more in line with what you really need to get done. And you would be right. And I wouldn't even be mad that you said that. Oh, my floors, ugh. I usually do them once a week, like deep clean, and then keep them swept and mopped all week, like just spot mopped. Yeah, that did not, that's not happened in like the last two weeks. So your girl's a little bit behind on stuff. Um, don't get me started on the bathrooms either. Ugh. And laundry, oh goodness. And did I tell you guys last week the washer's been acting up? Yeah, I'm kind of done with 2022 already. I'm like, it's not impressive at all. Because it didn't work. All right, let's try to glue it down like so. There we go, okay. Now down in this bottom corner, I was going to take something quite like kind of like this maybe only maybe a little bit bigger and uh, kind of just make an extra little writing space right there it's just a little bit more little bit more dynamic if you will and then we'll throw some ink on it i was wondering if i just already had like another pre-made ephemera piece i'm gonna leave the bottom how it is like straight as a ruler because i kind of like that in a piece and then take this up here oh yeah i'm so over over my limits One minutes. Let's see if we can actually get this one loaded, eh? Anyways, um, I don't know. Or 
or maybe, oh, I just had an idea for a quick one. Quick and simple, right? That's what we're kind of calling this series. can be journaled on front and back, cute little story, and then we'll take this other piece of paper and we'll fold it down like we just did, make a secondary one, only this one won't have a pocket on it, and we'll just do a tad bit of inking age it out a little bit and we'll use one of our die cuts to finish it up. Only we'll use an opposite flower of what we just did. actually really quick and simple to make and you can make them as cute as you want and then I guess I should probably show you how I mean I would assume that it's probably fairly simple or explanatory on how you would use it but just in case I will show you Just wondering if it would be too much to add something like that, which yes, it will be just a little too much. Okay. All right. So how you would use these pieces is obviously you can journal here if you have pretty or, you know, small handwriting, but then it's, you can journal all four, open it up, you know, that sort of thing. And then also the back can be used. It's, it's one of my go-to pieces to fill pockets. Um, I enjoyed that very much. And they are pretty useful in a journal. So, all right. I'm betting that we can take this off now. Maybe. Okay, I like it, I like it. And then let's put this in this other pocket here. Like so. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. Now, do we want anything more in the pocket over here? Nope. I think I like it. All right. Well, this whole little thing is turning out to be more of like a series, isn't it? Um, with these cute little pieces here. Yeah. They're all kind of different, yet kind of flow together. I'm kind of digging it. All right, guys, um, thanks for joining me with this one as well, and we will just talk to you soon. Bye, guys.